Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Now, okay, Senator Sanders, let me ask you this. If, if things are as bad as, as you say in terms of income inequality and the non-responsiveness of our elected leaders, and I, and I believe that you're right, where's the revolution? Where, and, and how, if it ever comes, will it come? Because, you know, as I've, I, I've, I quote, you know, maybe too much that Kennedy's saying about those who make peaceful revolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable, what is, the, what is our chance at avoiding what will eventually become a clash uh, of uh, money and interest against the forgotten? Well, I think we are seeing, if you just look at what's been going on over the last couple of years, number one, as I mentioned, more and more people, I think, are adopting a progressive ideology. Number two, you're saying... But that's not reflected in the number of people who are controlling state houses, the number of governors that are elected. There, that, 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 that conversation is being had on a national level, and I understand that the Democrats actually get more votes and that gerrymandering can actually... It's a very important issue, yeah. ...sort of sh shifts the control yeah. of Congress. But the Democrats must not have been putting out this message if people uh, agree with it, because they have lost a thousand yeah, absolutely over the right last eight years not only have they lost a thousand legislative seats they have essentially abdicated conceded half of the states in america including some of the poorest states and that is precisely why a few weeks ago alexandria and i went to kansas because we think in kansas you got a lot of people who are sick and tired of the status quo and want to see different policies and i am working hard all over this country along with many others to tell the Democratic Party they can't just be a party of the East Coast and the West Coast. They've got to be a party of every state in this country. It's not easy, but that's what we're trying to do. Well, uh, a, a, uh, in, uh, for 2020, which I know is two, you know, over two years down the line, the, the, there's a betting site out there that's taking odds on, on who is going to get the nomination. You are presently tied on this betting site uh, with Kamala Harris, okay? It's, uh... You want to lay a bet on who gets to face Donald Trump in 2020? Actually, that's exactly what I don't want to do. <laughs> no. So right now, are you willing to put aside all speculation and announce to the people here that you are not running in 2020? No. <laughs> but... What... You know, what I have said time and time again, my focus right now is on 2018 and to do everything that I can to end one-party rule of the House and the Senate. We're working really, really hard on that. Uh, but it is too early to be talking about 2020. All right, well, please come back uh, when it's not too early. <laughs> Good luck this fall, Bernie Sanders. Senator Sanders, everybody.